This 11-minute HD travel documentary preview is about my soon-to-be-completed program, Paris, Amsterdam, and Russia, a connection through art and architecture. The program begins in Paris, possibly the most beautiful city in the world. Countless books, plays, movies, and paintings have been created over the centuries by people that have fallen under the spell of Paris. The Notre Dame Cathedral, the diverse and unique kinds of bridges spanning the Seine. The Champ des Lycées. The Place de Concorde. The Magdalene Church. The Luxembourg Palace and Gardens. The Sculptures the narrow streets of the Latin Quarter, and of course the Eiffel Tower, built between 1887 and 1889 in just two years. It's the single most visited paid monument in the world. My 90-minute travel feature will naturally show and briefly describe the great public art and architecture. And of course we'll show you some of the great art highlights of the Louvre, perhaps the world's greatest museum. Housed in former palaces situated along the Seine River, the Louvre contains almost 400,000 pieces of art. Each day, thousands of visitors from around the world enter the famous glass pyramid to explore the treasures of the Louvre. It is well known that it would take many days to be able to spend even a few seconds standing before each of the artworks on display. The Louvre features art from ancient Egypt and the Greek and Roman periods, all the way through the Romantic painters of the 19th century. The sculptures from the Greek and Roman periods are displayed in two great palace rooms. Paintings at the Louvre contain works from the Middle Ages through to about 1860. Leonardo da Vinci, David, El Greco, Delacroix, Ingres, and dozens of other painters are displayed in the former palace halls and rooms that make up the complex of buildings called the Louvre. And where the Louvre leaves off, the paintings and sculptures of the great Musée d'Orsay begins. The museum displays hundreds of paintings from such artists as Camille Pizarro, Edward Degas, Mary Cassatt, and Monet. And here are paintings of Manet. The collection of Van Gogh paintings is the best outside of the Amsterdam Van Gogh Museum. During the last 10 years of his life, Van Gogh produced more than 2,000 artworks consisting of around 900 paintings and 1,100 drawings and sketches. There are more than two dozen canvases by Renoir here. And many paintings by Paul Cezanne, who greatly influenced so many modern artists to come. And several wonderful pictures by Paul Gauguin, paintings made between 1885 and 1900. A painting by Henri Edmond Cross. And in the ground floor rooms of the d'Orsay are paintings by Pierre Bonnard, Edouard Jean Vallard, and other painters of the early 20th century. The third great museum in Paris is the National Museum of Modern Art in the boldly designed building, the Pompidou Center. Here in the Pompidou are paintings from some of the giants of modern art, like Picasso, Braque, Gros, Modigliani, Dali, Matisse and many others. <laughs> 